coming to the facility, parents, drive up to the facility by the cones, stop your car, let your athlete step out of the vehicle, and start walking towards the facility. They must have their mask on, and parents, you are not allowed to pass the gray gates. This is where all athletes will enter to get to our facility. This will lead you to check in for north, south, and beach access. We will also have signs posted at our facilities for safety protocols. You will then follow the path marked by arrows and red tape that are six feet apart, and you will walk six feet apart between each athlete up to check-in. At check-in, we will check to see if you have both waivers filled out, check your attendance, and check your temperature. This is how the check-in process will work. Hello. Are you beach or indoor? Beach. And what's your last name? Olson. Awesome. Olson, you have completed the waiver and you're here today. I'm just going to check your temperature. Awesome. You are good to go. Once you are checked and approved, if you are in north, you will get a sticker on your shirt and then you can head over to the north gym. If you are a beach player, this is where you will walk to the courts, meet your coach, and head over to your private lesson or practice. There will be multiple hand sanitizer stations around the courts with signs. Please be sure to follow the arrows and stay on that path as you make your way to the courts. Once you get there, use some hand sanitizer, and then you will walk onto the court Put all of your belongings on the nearest cone that is empty, and then you can walk towards your coach and get ready for practice. All athletes must wear a mask the entire practice and stay six feet apart from each other. Please know that when you make an awesome play during practice, we cannot give fist pumps, high fives, or hugs. Air fives are acceptable. When practice is over, make sure you wave bye to your coach, head over to the cone where all of your belongings are sitting, make sure you grab all of your things because you don't want to leave anything behind, make your way back out of the courts, make sure you stop at a hand sanitizing station, grab some of that, and then follow the arrows on your way out. Follow that path all the way to the exit back to the parking lot where you will be picked up by your parents. When practice is over, coaches will collect all the balls that they used in that session, put them back in the same bag that they used, collect them all, and head off the court for cleaning. When coaches step off the court, they will put hand sanitizer on their hands, and then they will head to cleaning station. This will be done at the end of every single beach and indoor practice. What we are using is a mix of bleach and water, Coaches will be sure to have gloves on their hands as they wash these balls. We will make sure to separate the clean from the dirty and make sure that we are using the same balls for the assigned courts. Just another reminder that we will be doing this after every practice for beach and indoor. For our beach volleyballs, we will have different colored waves on the ball matching the assigned court. So red wave will be on court two. For all you indoor players entering south, Please be sure to read the whiteboards for procedures and important reminders. Sanitize your hands, stay six feet apart, no hugs, high fives, or fist pumps, and have fun. We will also have spots for you all to keep your belongings. Please keep them on the same spot throughout practice. Please note that your coach will let you know what court that you are assigned on that day. Head over to that court. Enter through the netting that you always do for practice. Start walking over to your coach. And on the far end of the court, we will have boxes that are marked by blue tape. And each of those boxes are marked six feet apart. This is where you can put your backpack, your keys, and your water bottle and any other belongings. It is now required for all athletes to wear a mask throughout the entire practice. And please remember to stay six feet apart. Woohoo! Good job, Brennan and Matt. Good job. After you've been working hard, your coach will definitely give you some water breaks. 
During your water breaks, you may walk over to your square of your assigned belongings, grab your water bottle, take a sip, and be sure to grab some hand sanitizer before you head back onto the courts. You will do this for every water break. When practice is over, give your coach an air high five, head again back over to your square, grab all of your belongings, and please note you will have worn your mask the entire time. Make sure you get some hand sanitizer on your hands, grab your things, and then you will be exiting out of the back doors. Please be sure to stay six feet apart from your teammates as you all exit at the same time. There will be arrows marked on the brick pavers out back so you know where to go. Be sure to follow those arrows along the entire way out. Please know that during this time, our staff will be cleaning the indoor balls just like we showed you with the beach balls. And another reminder to please follow the arrows all the way to the parking lot where your parents can pick you up. And make sure to stay six feet apart from the person in front of you and behind. If you are practicing in North, please enter and you will see more signage for protocols. When you enter, make sure you show that you've been cleared by your sticker and get some hand sanitizer. After you've checked in and have been cleared, head over to your court, put your belongings down in your designated space, keep your mask on and get some hand sanitizer for your hands as you head to practice. After your practice, you will head off the court, say goodbye to your coach and grab all of your belongings. Please note you will have had your mask on the entire time and then you will get some hand sanitizer before you head out of the gym. For our north bathrooms, please note that you will use the bathroom by the tennis courts and it's single use only. In south gym, our bathrooms will have two people in the bathroom at a time, so please make sure before entering that there is only one other person or less in there. We will also have many different CDC approved signs encouraging washing of hands and staying clean. We will also have signs posted in our men's restroom as well. Our men's restroom will be held at two people at a time as well. Please note that our water fountain is unavailable and be sure to bring enough water. In addition, our Gatorade machine will also be closed. So again, please bring enough water to hydrate.